soccer with Citadel Defense. Uh, one of the things that I do is I allow people who uh, are anti-gun to audit some of my classes for free. So you can show up, you can take my class for free. If you're like, you know, I don't like guns or whatever, I just don't think you should own them. You can come up and you can come to my, some of my classes and you can audit them for free. And the reason I do that is a couple of reasons. I mean, the biggest reason is I think the biggest reason that people are afraid of guns or the biggest reason that people are opposed to guns is because of ignorance. And I don't mean that in the insulting fashion. I mean that in just the, the plain meaning of the word. Like, they simply do not know. They're, they're ignorant. And we've all heard the maximum that ignorance breeds fear. And, and I definitely think there's some truth to that. So they don't know guns. They, they just know they kill people and they go off and they people get shot and then they die. And, that, and that's all they know. And that's their only reference point. Before I married my wife, uh, we, were, we lived in the... We lived in this tri-tier uh, house, like a triplex, okay? She lived on the middle floor with some girls, and I lived on the top floor with some guys. And one of the guys there had gotten a Glock. And uh, we were sitting in his room, and he had it disassembled in pieces, like slide is off, spring is out, barrel is out, I mean, in pieces, okay? And uh, we're sitting around talking, whatever, and he was cleaning it. I can't remember why it was disassembled, but it's disassembled. A couple of us in the room, and my wife, we were not dating at the time, we were just friends. She walks in the room, and she says, you know, is that is that a gun? And we said, well... Yeah, that's yeah, a gun. I kid, and I kid you not, she turns around and runs out of the room. Just turns around and runs. Just just out. She'll tell it different. She'll say I'm lying, but she's not here to see my version. And uh, I just thought, that's that's ridiculous. Like, that's, that's a little crazy, right? But, uh, you know, later we dated, and, and then we got married. And I came to learn that she just didn't know. You know, she, she just didn't know. All she knew was that guns killed people and... And that that was a gun, and she better get out of the room before she dies, because she just didn't know. And I think that that's a lot of people's starting point. They just simply don't know. They don't know how the gun works. They they don't know uh, how it feeds. They don't know what triggers do. And I, I don't. I'm not, I'm not being hyperbolic here. Like I had a class recently, and we were talking about negligent discharges, and someone said, "Well, yeah, but how do negligent discharges happen?" And I said, "They happen because someone puts the finger, their finger, on the trigger." and pulls the trigger and points the gun at themselves. That's how they happen. And he's like, oh, well, you know. And another person told me, well, you know, I had a buddy and he was like, un he was cleaning his gun. I said, he was cleaning his gun and he shot himself? Uh, he, w he didn't unload the gun first. Like, there are clearly steps that happen and they just don't do it. And I think that in part, because there's a lot of untrained people out there, uh, or just, I should say, stupid people who don't obey the four gun laws of safety, or the four gun safety rules, and they end up doing stupid things as a result, right? And so, I think that's our issue, and I think, in large, we, we in the gun world uh, do a lot to correct that. A lot to correct that, and I think that's great. But I think just kind of your average person, who might be slightly anti-gun, they just don't know. And they don't know that they don't know. And so the reason I let people come audit some of my courses for free is because I'm trying to break through that barrier to get them the knowledge of how these guns work how to operate them safely. When I started taking training courses and, and I started um, wa watching and reading a lot of gun safety material and, and like gun working material, one of the first things that my wife noticed, just from being in and out of the room, you know, when I'm watching this stuff or reading this stuff, is that there's a safe way to handle guns. And she'd never heard that before. Right? That was a brand new concept to her. So I'm trying to get that concept through to people. Like there's, there's a way we in the gun world do this stuff. There's safe ways to draw and shoot and operate guns so that they only go off when you want them to go off when you want them to, right? There's, there's a way to do that. And so I think the biggest thing that you can do next time you end up in a conversation with someone who, who is, you know, slightly anti-gun or whatever, is really find out how much they know about guns. Do they know that every time you purchase a gun, you have to pass a background check anyway? I bet you they don't. I bet you they think people are just out there getting all kinds of guns without background checks, which I'm against background checks, but that's a different story. I, they just don't know the current rules and regulations that it goes through to get your FFL license, to actually sell guns. Like that, that's a big deal. They don't understand that. They, they don't understand that there are ways that we, again, we operate and use these guns to save lives and not needlessly just accidentally take lives, right? They don't, they don't get that. So I would ask them, when have they shot a gun? Where did they learn to shoot a gun? Who were they with? What did they do? Did they wear hearing protection when they shot that gun? And, and I'm not being I'm not being hyperbolic. When I grew up, 
I grew up with my dad, my uncles, and I think back to it now, and I think, wow, that was really dumb. We would go shoot a uh, trap, and we wouldn't hear wear hearing and eye protection. Stupid, right? I mean, just just baseline like that. You should always wear hearing and eye protection when you shoot guns, but but we didn't, right? Because well, my dad didn't tell me, and I was a young boy, and I didn't know. I mean, you know, so you, you just again that that's that's what you. He probably didn't know, to be honest. Uh, but but that's the kind of stuff where when people grow up in those contexts and they just don't know, it breeds this fear because there's this deep ignorance. So I'd find out how much do they really know about guns, and my guess is next to nothing. Right, and because they know next to nothing, they're afraid. Right, that's why they end up using phrases like "fully semi-automatic." We got to get rid of these fully semi-automatic guns. My wife and I joke around the house about that one all the time. You know, we we got to get rid of these guns, and and it's like, well, what what a what? Like they they genuinely don't know what they're talking about, and these are the people that are calling the representatives. These are the people that are the representatives that are trying to pass laws to get rid of your mind's rights because they don't know, right? So I think one of the barriers to break through that, and I think the most effective way for, for especially the most people, let's make up a number, 80% of people can be reached through just simple means of education. Simply explaining how guns are, work, and what they do, and the, mechan the actual literal mechanics of the gun and the safety rules that we follow, that's gonna, that's gonna alleviate 80% of people's fears. And I just think, we, in the gun world, need to realize that education is one of the biggest bridges across that gap. Because once people are empowered and they know and they realize they can use this tool to save their life, they're going to be a lot more receptive to it. And they're going to be a lot less uh, hating on it. And once you start telling them about certain laws that already exist in the books, like if you go into New Jersey and you have a gun, boom, instant felon. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're from. Just instant felon, right? People, every time I tell someone that, they're like, wow, like, really? That's ridiculous. And I'm like, yeah, it is ridiculous. Do you think we need more gun laws like that? And they're like, well, you know, no. I mean, I've never had anybody argue that with me, right? So again, I, I just think it's this matter of education and explaining and helping people get to that place where they know, and that's going to solve a lot of our problems. So share this video with someone that, that might not know, uh, and or, you know, do your best to humbly, helpfully, not in an argumentative or, or caustic sense, educate them so that they won't be so ignorant, so that they won't be so afraid. Do brave deeds and endure.